good morning again in the sphere sports you hear the hks exhaust so what defines the sphere sports in my opinion it is uh, based on the, what, the letter l so l for light but also l for luxurious because if you look what you get from as a standard configuration with the Swiss Sport, it is very luxury. So that's a very nice way to drive. I'm not saying that you get all that uh, you know, say it, premium uh, materials in the dashboard, but I think they have a nice touches, but they also get heated seats, sport seats, you get your echo, you get your navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. And the likes it is fantastic also this uh, car is about uh, loving to drive so not so much to be the fastest car from a to b but a car that's very pleasant to drive i'm going to drop some so i'm back so also um yeah, you get a car which uh, does a lot with less fuel so that it's a third L to take into consideration. So lightness, luxury, but also quite uh, frugal because you have a 1.4 liter turbo, four cylinder, which you will not find in the competition, especially the, uh, at this price point, because all the competition is driving either three cylinder type of cars, including the Fiesta ST, which has a 1.5 three cylinder or they still have a four cylinder like uh, the Volkswagen uh, Polo GTI but it's a two liter and completely different uh, ball game especially in price but also the weight will be completely different but this car the ZC33S Suzuki Swift Sport Hybrid also has a hybrid plan so what does that uh, mean in daily practice you will not a notion you have notion about it so there will be some very light uh, electric engine braking so when you're not using energy and just put your foot off the gas it will recuperate some energy so that it can put back into um, yeah to propelling the wheels when needed so it takes a little bit of stress off the engine but the weight the drawback of a hybrid system is largely not there and also you will not have a shift from oh now I'm going electric now I'm going uh, internal combustion engine again it will be this uh, all the time internal combustion engine but sometimes when you are sitting at the light uh, your engine will just uh, shut off to save some fuel and then restart again with your uh, yeah, electric uh, engine another benefit is uh, because of this uh, electric hybridization you get a little bit more uh, horsepower but that's not so much but especially what it gets you into motion as you just saw a little bit more torque so this car will feel very powerful even if you're not driving yeah, driving the tits of it so to say and I also mentioned and I've, I forgot but now I remember so it's not only light uh, luxury and less fuel but also it's about loving to drive so you get a car that you can also exploit when you're not driving very uh, hard you can also enjoy this when you're just uh, driving like three tenths so like uh, even when you shift at 2500 uh, rpm you will enjoy it because it's quite torquey yeah, it has a lot of torque out of its uh, internal combustion engine but especially the electric engine will give booms of additional torque when needed in the low range so that gives you a lot of pleasure and also it has good brakes nice suspension it's not extremely hard I lowered mine a little bit so that gives you a little bit better and more direct feeling so even more fun and also a little bit better fuel consumption and less motion to the body but it also has a drawback when you're going over speed bumps or less nice terrain it will have less reserves there so that's it in a nutshell so four L's Swiss port with four L's light luxury loving to drive less fuel 
and should be yours if you are considering a light hot, hot hatch that uh, doesn't break your bank but will put a smile on your face. Have a great day. Founder and car out.